Hello, today I would like to show you uh, one solver, uh, you know, for the vehicle routing problem with time window. Vehicle routing problems, uh, I have considered here a Solomon RC102. And you can check the diagram. Now, this is the diagram. In this diagram, you can find, see, the 100 customers in red color. And in square blue, this is the depot. So RC means R for random and C for, you know, the cluster. So what we need to do, we, uh, we need to find out the uh, route or the path of uh, uh, each customers uh, because uh, 25 vehicles uh, you will find in this RC102 and the capacity of each vehicle is 200. So we need to find the path and uh, I developed a solver and I will demonstrate how the solver is uh, solving RC102 or any problem, uh, uh, the vehicle routing uh, problem uh, with a time window. Let's start. See, this is uh, the, I'm using Python 3.8. Let me start the solver. The, I have already started the solver. So I'm using uh, the genetic algorithm and it will take a little bit of time to solve uh, the path. You can check, uh, it is showing the gene uh, what I did basically, you know, 100 customers. So the 100 numbers, all these numbers are showing the position of each and every customers. And say for instance, 36 means customer number 36. 42 is corresponding customer number 42, this way. Now, after, sol after using this genetic algorithm, the solver uh, will do some beautiful task. It will uh, plot the path. It will print the path. It will show the convergence. It will create the log file. It will uh, create uh, the, you know, the movements, the result. And at the same time, I will show you the locations, uh, how you will uh, do it. Now, this is a simple approach I, I'm showing you. The actual uh, solver has a different algorithm like this particle swarm optimizations and colony optimization. Then, uh, you know, uh, different heuristic methods and at the same time, you know, no, the uh, modified uh, genetic algorithms. So this is, this is a simple version I'm showing you for the demonstration purpose. Just wait and watch.
so we are almost uh, going to you know complete this uh, uh, optimization and uh, at the end after solving this uh, problem you will get the beep sound the beep sound once you get uh, you can uh, means understand that uh, the solver has completed uh, the task just wait and watch So, okay, uh, let me show you uh, this one. See, here you can check the uh, root. So, 10 root means 10 vehicles are required, and the corresponding these numbers, see, it is starting from 0, 0 it means the depot, then 16, then 15, then 73, 47 and it is returning to zero. It means it is starting from the uh, zero, uh, visiting the customer number 16, customer number 15, customer number 73, etc. And then it's returning to zero. So the corresponding fitness, total cost, etc. it's given. See, you can check the uh, solver has uh, identified the corresponding or the determine the value of the fitness the determine the value of the total cost and uh, the number of iterations uh, required is 1491 execution time in seconds is you know 421.23 and after that it is plotting you know the path that is x coordinate and y coordinates uh, we are considering the root of the uh, 10 uh, vehicles 
uh, is shown here. And this one is basically the convergence plot. Means the solver uh, means uh, at a particular say 1491 uh, iterations is converged. Means you can find this value is almost as in tone with this x axis. So the convergence uh, once it's uh, the uh, it converges, so it uh, the solver will stop automatically. Now. Now let me show you the inside the solver. So inside the solver, I have uh, certain folders, okay? So data folder where uh, I'm keeping all the data. Then GLE, there is these, uh, all the um, uh, code related to genetic algorithm, uh, genetic algorithm library files. Then image folder where you will get all the generated image. Log means the solver will create a log file and the output where you will get this output or the result. Let me show you. See, this is the output folder. In the output folder, you can find a text file. This is called the result, where you will get the result or this or the uh, root of the 10 vehicles. See, this is the, you know, you can uh, check the result. This is the root, the problem name and the corresponding root. You will get it. The solver will automatically generate it after solving the problem and it will uh, write the result. you can check the optimization server started at the time is given and all the task it is doing one by one and all the result And this is the image file, okay?
so you can check here that is the final route we are getting the solver uh, solved the problem and uh, using the genetic algorithm and then it's creating these images and it's uh, you know uh, saving it in a particular folder that is called this image folder that's all in brief in this uh, next video i will show you how to solve uh, the vehicle routing problems using genetic algorithms pso seo and other uh, techniques thank you very much